Hello, hello everyone. The purpose of this video is to set up the user equipment for private cellular network testbed. So um, I've already done the process and I have uh, made a documentation for this in my GitHub account. Uh, I'll post the link in the description. So in this video, first thing we'll be setting up the user equipment. So for that, we require three hardwares and a software. So for my purposes, I used Samsung Galaxy S4 and Gemalto SIM card reader and Sysmocom programmable SIM card for the hardwares and for software it was spicing. So this was the SIM card I used. And let me get the card reader. It was from Gamalto. It's like this. I've already added a SIM card here, which we'll program later. Let me add it back to the USB port. And Samsung device here. So with three things now, just to set up the Python software I see. So I did it in Ubuntu 20 and I did it in Ubuntu 18 and this is doing it in Ubuntu 22. Currently my PCSC scan does not start automatically so I get this error. The service not available. If you get that uh, you just need to start the service when you do that uh, you run can now it can identify your card so from here you can get information like okay you know it's game auto so it's zero it's in zero so this information is useful right now other than that you just know that your card is readable right now it is read by the os so that's all there is to know from here nothing much maybe there are some information which you might find useful but for now no next thing is to okay and to do install your pysim right so I've already done it, so you can install required tools, then you can clone from the repository and go inside the clone folder. Since I have already cloned it, I will just go to iSIM. So we can just check here. There are all the documents or files, program files, which we will use to program the SIM card. So right now it's mm, we did this we can see our information and now you can read from the sim card as well so if you just run i seem read the py e zero okay it reads all the information i have in my SIM card, my SIM card capabilities and the information I've stored there, right? So how I know it's in zero, it's in either zero or one. Generally, um, like I said, it's even written, written here uh, for zero in our case as well when we read in the terminal. So just a guess, if it does not work, you can add P1 here. So um, these are the important informations which you need to set up your SIM card. So, in ADM, this is the administrative key for the SIM card, and this one is a very important key. You need the, you need this key for your for programming the SIM. So if you don't have it, chances are you cannot program it. So then it's provided when you buy the SIM card, the provider gives you the sim card provides you with this key 
and it's very necessary to get this key other than that it's mobile country code mobile network code for oai it was 208 and 93 use that pcsc device we know it's zero for us it's mc based on your requirement for me um i use this one authentication key and operator key and acc access control code and for dry run it's um it just gives you the it does not actually program but it just runs the thing and tells you if it will successfully program or not so based on that so i already have so i use this to program a sim card i'm pretty much sure it won't work right now because because the ADM key won't be the same. And I haven't, uh, okay, yes, pin ADM. So the pin ADM, I think, and it's not the same for this same. So when I press enter, I guess I can do one program. Okay, and MCC one delay. Let me find the code. I'll prepare the code. We used the code, then I will I'll come get back. Okay, so some I fixed it. Uh, so the problem turns out that copying it directly is not a good idea. So I had to write it like this. The atom key was also correct. So if you enter so programming successful removed from the card but it's a dry run so it did not program but i've already programmed it according to the requirements now if you see if you see pricing you i have the patch you can check the things you can write to this card and how you can use it or modify it so according to your requirement now the next thing we need to do is to set up the APN values and in the actual sim card after we insert the sim so let me turn on the mobile and set up the sim card then we will look into it okay now I have set up the phone the first thing you need to do is set up the APN. So we'll go to settings, uh, more networks in this case, mobile network, access point. I already have OEI IPv4. And here, just put the name and APN to OEI.IPv4. It's enough. Others are automatically during the connection process and the next thing is the if it still does not work most probably you need to change the band so currently for band bands selection in s4 you need to go to first type this you'll be here for this, first you need to go back and type the key input capital Q and four zeros. Okay. Wait for a while. It will give you another screen. Okay. Now go to UMTS. Go to debug screen. Go to phone control, go to network control, go to band selection, go to SD band preference, and select the band according to your requirement. For us, we select the band 7. Since I've already done it and I don't want to play with this setting, so I'll just go back. And that's it for setting up 
the user equipment after setting up all the other ran and core network then we can try to connect this device to the testbed thank you